together and cage fish farmers in Lake Victoria have run into millions of shillings in losses following the massive sudden death of fish in cages across the lake. Homer Bay and Kisumu counties have been hardest hit with scientists attributing the losses to suffocation from a natural process occurring in the lake called upwelling. And as Laura Otieno reports, the upwelling has not only affected the fish in the lake, but also left a massive stench hanging in the air for residents along Kisumu shoreline with losses of at least 80 million shillings. Take a listen. A destructive natural phenomena has been silently crawling in the Lake Victoria, leaving behind a trail of death. In the past month, cage fish farmers have been drilling in debt, running into millions of shillings following the sudden death of fish in cages dotting Lake Victoria. So we are very sorry for what has happened. So if you, uh, our government can help us to see how we can get food or we can take our children to school. Waking up one morning and finding all this loss here is quite... Uh, devastating and uh, it's a very big setback to us. Uh, each and every cage having 6,000 number of fish, you multiply on the lower side by 200 or 300 shillings. It's around 100 million in terms of losses. According to the Kenya Marine and Fisheries Research Institute, the fish in sections of Lake Victoria have been dying due to suffocation. <laughs> the low oxygen levels caused by a natural phenomenon called ported upwelling, where changes in wind direction affect the currents in the lake, causing the mixing of the deep waters with waters from the surface on sections of the lake. So when there's that upwelling appearing, which can be within an hour or less, uh, the fish which are confined in the cages, they find that uh, they, they are lacking even more oxygen. Usually we normally have massive upwelling. Um, I think in local language they call it in care, I'm not sure. So we have that massive upwelling around October and November. So this massive upwelling, it is expected at least to cause some fish kills. And with the fish dying, a heavy stench hovers over parts of Kisumu City for at least one month now. The pungent smell, according to Kemfri, is caused by the 8,000 acres of decomposed water hyacinth and other aquatic plants that are also being swept from the lake floor and floating near the surface, covering the town with a heavy stench, especially in the afternoon when the sun is up. Watu wa yuko comfortable. Hata samaki ukienda kununua, umeogopa hata kununua samaki. Kwa sababu hiyo samaki iko na nini ndani? Naona biashara pia imeleta biashara iko chini. Ningana customer wanaingia wanasema oh harufu nini. The budget smell will decline and go eventually. The phenomenon I'm calling in this case if there is increased rainfall or precipitation and if there is strong wind. But uh, we may not specifically um, say that uh, the decomposition will end. Pouring cold water on claims of pollution, Kemfri has however called for more caution, warning that while pollution may not be responsible for the current situation, the continuous dumping of chemicals into the lake may cause accelerated growth of water hyacinth and other weeds, worsening the emanating pungent smell during upwelling. We are talking of um, a change in behavior, for example, minimizing the use of phosphorus soaps uh, like um, in, in our riverine systems because some of these phosphorus soaps eventually uh, undergoes the, through the river system and gets into the lake, favoring the um, nutrient enrichment of the lake.